Hello everyone, today we are going to do a now and what's soon to come for you. So whatever the question is, whatever um, you want to ask, where you're worried right now or you know your situation right now, what's soon to come, I want you to connect to your guides and let's see what they have to say to you. Let's see any special messages that they might have for you. So we're going to go ahead and pull some cards. Um, if you want to pause this and have a conversation with your guides and ask them um, to really clarify through this message, feel free to do so. As always, Today is the last day to get the 15% off on the reading. So that will be in the description box below if you are interested in doing a personal reading with me. So we're just going to go ahead and pull a piece of advice um, to start the reading. And let's go ahead and see what it says. It says, a gift from life. Each day, life offers me abundant proof that the universe loves me. Every day, God sends me angels to help. Today, I receive an angelic message. It may come from somebody with whom I speak to or a form of words that I read. I listen closely as this message is divine gift for me and is meant to help me make, make me feel loved in every way and maintain my spiritual strength. I love that. And I love that that came out when I was just talking about doing a message that you need to hear right now. So we're going to pull three cards of the situation right in front of us, like where you're at, what's happening. Um, and then we're going to look into what's soon to come for you, okay? So let's just pull three cards about the right now. What's going on right now for anyone watching this video? What's going on? If I can get that. There we go. Okay. Ooh. It's, it's hard. The first card we have is the strength card. So there's something going on right now. It's definitely a hard, I feel like some hard, heavy energy. So we have the six of pentacles. Um, there's definitely some work, I want to say. Ooh, we have the moon coming out. Let's see what comes out behind the moon. Let's see. Ooh, we have the four of cups. All right, and let's just pull one more, the ten of cups. Okay. I have a couple different messages um, from this. Whatever situation, I feel like there's something where we're scared of something that might be unknown to us, or maybe we're scared that we have an illusion of some kind. Because with the Four of Cups sitting there, I feel like it's like you're asking for something from Spirit, and Spirit's like, here, I'm handing it to you, I'm handing it to you. Um, like, I'm trying to offer you this help. Like, I want you to get to your Ten of Cups. I want you to be in this happy spot. And I don't know why it is so blurry. There it goes. Um, it, Spirit's like, I want you to be in this spot. I want you to be happy. I want you to be here. Like, here is my offer. Here it is. And here, this message is telling you exactly what is right in front of you. Um, I feel like there's something where it's like, you're really trying to move forward in somewhere, okay? Like, and this would be, I feel like you're trying to... Um, like evolve yourself. I would take this as like you're trying to evolve. Like you could be asking for help from your guides because this would be like for me in this setup, I feel like this would be you trying to ask for help in order to move forward. Like, hey, spirit, like, please show me where to go. And that's why you're like, here listening to this video, you're like, spirit, where do I go? I've been praying to God. Like I've been asking for answers. Like, where do I go? And I feel like there, you could feel like this is an illusion. Something in front of you is an illusion, or maybe this isn't the direction for you. You're scared of the unknown. You're like, well, what if I take this? Like, I don't want to regret it. Um, cause I feel like there's like an offer being made to you of some kind, whatever this is for you. And this could be, you know, where it can be a physical offer. It could be romantical. It could be, you know, financially a new home. There, there there's just an offer that's being made made to you because you've been asking to get out of a situation a hard situation and it's like spirits trying to hand over the answer for you but it's like for some reason you're not believing in it or you're thinking it's like an illusion too good to be true um yes but then we have the chariot so there's the victory then we have the king of cups Ooh, we have the king of cups the knight of cups something definitely emotionally i want to say okay but then we have the two of pentacles coming out um i just want to pull three clarifying cards hold on let's just pull three clarifying cards okay so we have the temperance coming out Ooh, there's you walking away you walking away from something yep and then we have the knight of wands okay 
So I definitely feel like this is something where it's emotional to you, okay? With the cup energy coming out, I definitely feel like this is something where you know your happiness is on the other side of a situation or you know your happiness lays in a different direction than where you're going is kind of what I feel. Um, it's like an, an internal feeling, um, whatever this is for you because this is collective. I want to say that this could be around relationships because we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Cups, and then we have the king or the knight of cups and um i just feel like there's a lot of cup energy so this could be romantical this could be you know around um a family aspect something like that something that's definitely emotional to you i feel like it's heavy on your heart okay especially with the strength coming out first um i feel like there's something that is better for you there's a better option there's something in front of you and it's like you go really back and forth and this could be you trying to balance things out but i feel like you go back and forth and how to make yourself happy is by walking away and following and listening to your heart because there's something about listening to your heart um and I feel like you you're not really like you're scared you're scared to lead yourself in the wrong direction um those who need to hear this I feel like if this is you know a family member a friend a romantic lover um a job whatever this is you cannot thrive if you are not being loved and appreciated correctly. Like, it's just not going to happen. And so I don't know what this is, but I just feel like there could be a source of sadness um, on whatever this is because I feel like there's a very back and forth energy, okay? Yes, as I'm saying that, explore the wilderness. Trust yourself. Trust your, your guides. Trust your intuition. I promise you, okay? Yes. And then we have, can, these cards are stuck together. Let me just get them apart. Sorry the baby all right so we have the spider community and web weaving and then we have dawn the light after the darkness yes i love that okay some of you could be trying to go into a new direction as far as work and i just want to talk about this because when we do have like a lot of cup energy this would be like a passionate type of thing where you're trying to go into a new direction. You're like, listen, this is too hard for me. I need to go somewhere else. Is this too good to be true? Um, maybe you're worrying about, like the moon could represent your fears as well, where it's like spirits like here, here, here. This is what's going to make you happy, but you're letting your fears run you. And this is you like, whatever this is, okay? Listen to your heart. Follow your heart. Because right now, you're like creating yourself. Um, explore something new. I feel like a lot of you, whoever are watching this, there's something where you're exploring something new and it's time for you to create this new community for yourself, whether this be at work, whether this be, you know, socially, whether this be romantically, there's something about building a new community for yourself. And this could be working yourself up as far as in a job where you're finally starting to build that career or build that strong structure for yourself for you to stand on. And it could have been for a long time because we have the dawn, the light after the darkness. Um, this could be where we have the, the strength coming out, where it's been really hard financially, mentally, physically, whatever this is for you. It's been really, really hard. And this is spirit saying like, listen, explore your options. Stop going back and forth. Take that new step. Create something new for yourself because once you do, it's like the light is coming. You don't need to worry about this darkness anymore. You don't need to worry about this like heavy cloud that you are feeling or this this burden that you are feeling on your shoulders. Keep pushing and it's going to come forward, okay? I feel like a lot of you, whoever are listening to this, where it's like in the now, you're in between two decisions or you're really trying to go towards something new, but you're really scared of whatever this is, whatever it might be because this is collective, go for it take that risk move go do whatever it is it's time for you to do that you go very back and forth and it's like once you pick a decision it's going to bring you a lot of balance but whatever this is i know that the decision for you is going to be to move on towards whatever your passion is so you're going to walk away from one idea to another um, one situation into another to find something that you are passionate about. And it's worth exploring because you're going to build a community out of it. You're going to build a structure for yourself. And it's been really like some dark, heavy times right now. And this is Spirit's way of saying like, no, don't worry. Like uh, it's gonna happen. Like after um, every storm, there's a rainbow. And that's just kind of what I feel. It's like you're about to hit the rainbow phase. It's almost over. You just need to pick in your heart and, and fully trust yourself. And the King of Cups, trust. 
trust your decision trust whatever this offer is trust it because it is successful stop going back and forth okay let's go ahead and pull three more clarifying cards let's go ahead and pull for the near future that's what i want to finish off with what's three clarifying cards for the near future for anyone watching this oh wow ace of pentacles some of you this if this is related to work like i was saying it, there's definitely something financially here um, and this could be you know a couple different things okay and then we have transitioning yes okay so what I want to say with this is okay I definitely feel like you are working I'm just going to pull two clarifying cards to just close this out but I I and what I want to pull to let's just pull the two clarifying cards really fast let's just see to make sure yep okay there we go yes yes we love that all right you are moving away from any struggle that you were having, okay? And I just wanted to clarify this because I could have read this two ways, but I, you're really walking away from whatever struggle you were having. This is a new beginning, and this could be financially, this could be romantically, this could be both, where it's like you're starting over new. It's going to be very successful for you. You are moving on. It takes patience, it takes hard work, and you are going to work through it. But if you push through it and you make the decision, you make that dedication to go forward with it, it's going to be successful, okay? And with spirit coming out in your reading, it's like spirit's telling you, trust me, listen to me, and I promise you I won't lead you astray. I promise you I'll help you get there. Whatever this is, there's a new beginning. And I definitely think for a lot of you, this could be very, like, financially very successful. And this could be something where it's like you're very passionate about whatever your job career is. If this is a new business, if this is a... Um, you know, a new job, if you're starting something up from the ground, whatever this is, you're very passionate about it. You're very dedicated, but you need to be real and be like, this is where I want to be. And Spirit's like, I will make sure that you are successful. I will really help you. But you need to put that dedication in. If this is relationship, okay, because we, like I said, there's a lot of cup energy. Spirit is telling you that you need to let go of your fears and, and accept what Spirit is having, like trying to offer you, whether this be a new relationship or advice how to fix your relationship and you can take whatever goes but if this is to leave there is something better out there for you okay there is something and and that also this could be like your relationship turning into something good finally like the hard work finally paying off it's like spirit is here to help you guys um i i want to talk though whatever this this darkness is that you are feeling it is it's soon to be over okay keep pushing keep going hard and i promise it is going to be rewarded i hope everyone enjoyed their messages